Dr. Hearn called the actions of Troll Station, Prankster Lee Marshall, truly irresponsible, reprehensible and not remotely funny darts. Godfather Barry Hearn has called for gatecrashers to face criminal prosecution after his showpiece event was hijacked by intruders. A packed house and a TV audience of millions saw YouTube prankster Lee Marshall, 31, invade the OCHE at the PDC World Darts Championship. Alexandra Palace as mighty Michael Van Gerwen was throwing to clinch the World Championship final on Monday night, the 2nd of January. Marshall, a serial irritant operating under the troll station banner, was working with an accomplice decoy to dodge security. He pinched the Sid Waddell trophy from its plinth and hoisted it high above his head before being bundled off stage by security, who had been distracted by a decoy invader. Van Gerwen went on to lose the set but recovered to take the next and seal his second world. Title Professional Darts Corporation boss Hearn said, I don't understand why it is a criminal offense to run on a football pitch but not onto the stage of a major sporting arena with a world championship final reaching its conclusion. They may think it's harmless banter, but it was truly irresponsible, reprehensible and not remotely funny. What are these idiots going to do next? Run on the 18th green when Rory McIlroy is lining up a putt to win the Open. Judge on to center court when Andy Murray is at match point to win Wimbledon. It's not harmless, it's criminal interference with the destiny of world-class sporting competition. I don't understand why there is no scope for us to press charges. There should be some form of legislation to prosecute people like that. If they make even a penny out of such an irresponsible stunt, that would prove their motive all along was nothing to do with comic interlude and everything to do with financial gain. The group later accused the darts security team of roughing them up, a claim that has been vehemently denied in tweets that have since been deleted. Troll Station claimed Marshall, of Canterbury, was serious, sick, hurt, 